Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. Uh, so I've got a bit of a problem. You see, I really want to get something. However, I've got no place to put this particular something. And so behind me over here, we have this uh, beautiful green door. And well, uh, let's just say there's quite a mess. So first things first today, I'm going to uh, clean up the garage and then I'm going to tell you about my little problem and hopefully you can help me decide what to do about that particular problem. So there it is and, and boom, all clear. Okay, so uh, in this little space over here, okay, I need to clean up the rest of the, the garage but at least I've cleaned up the floor. So the the key thing is, what I want to do is get a project car. Uh, not exactly sure what I want to get just yet. Um, I have been thinking rotary, I have been thinking V8. So it'll either be a rotary or a V8. Um, might be turbo, but I um, mean here in New Zealand it's pretty difficult to find something that is a road, uh, sorry, a turbo um, that's anywhere within the price range that I want to spend. Um, what I'm going to do with the car is essentially uh, start off by doing small modifications, um, something that's really cool, show you guys along the way, do those modifications and then look at doing some bigger stuff after a period of time like an engine change or possibly turbo conversion or something along those lines. Okay, So that's my plan. Now I need your guys help to pick what it is that I'm going to get. So we're going to go inside and we're going to have a look on the computer. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'm thinking about. Maybe we'll uh, put in some video of going to have a look at some of these cars. Depends on where they are. And I want you guys to help me decide, okay? So inside, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so what's up, what's up? Uh, we are inside. Uh, let's have a look on the computer as you can see in my sunnies. Having a look at cars, I've come across a few different ones that uh, that I'm thinking about getting. I asked you guys on Instagram, what do you think I should get? And you guys gave me quite a few different selections, ranging from Ford Mustang, Camaro, Nissan Skyline R32. Just saying, those are those are those those are hugely expensive. Um, Golf GTI. You didn't specify a mock version of the GTI though, so I got one in mind. I myself had a look at the BMWs, like 325, 328, 328Ci, those type of things. Uh, Renault Megane, now I don't mind Renault, especially the sportier ones, but um, didn't come up so we probably won't get one of those. 350Z came up, I don't know, lots of people have 350Zs. GT86 or the uh, BRZ, whatever you like to call it. Those came up, but those are those are out of, out of my price range. Oh, also some of the old Holdens. Um, Holden, Kingswood and stuff like that. Those are quite expensive, they're quite up there. Or if I got a really shitty one, I could rebuild it. The problem is, I actually want to be able to drive it now as a base car and then modify it as I go. So, first things first, uh, let's have a look at the screen over here. And I'll show you the cars that I'm looking at currently and you guys can help me decide in the comments um, what do you think I should get. Okay so first up we have the BMW 325i. I don't know who decided to paint this color. It, it looks nice and shiny but like like why? Why would you paint it like this? It's terrible but um, one of these might, might, do, might do well. Um, looks pretty good. I reckon it would be a good base starter for a car. I hate the colour though. Absolutely hate the colour. But that would have to change. Interior is not too bad. I'm not sure who decided to put uh, the white headrests on it though. Otherwise I think it's a pretty stock standard 325i. The next one was the Renault again 225. So you get the R26, which is 260 horsepower. The 225 is 225 horsepower. It's a two-liter turbo. It's a GTI comparison. Um, I don't actually mind the shape. I think it looks kind of cool. 
twin exhaust obviously at the back and there's a lot of parts for these but they all come from the UK so there would be a lot of import cost there because obviously I'm based in New Zealand however I think it could be a cool base model for a car but I don't think the New Zealand community will like this this is more like a, a UK uh, kind of thing then we got everyone's favorite the R32 Skyline I saw this one for sale this one is probably the cheapest one on trade me at the moment and it's on an auction it's currently sitting at about eight thousand dollars um, so it's it's kind of up there in terms of price and the problem is this is not driving and I don't think it's registered either as you can see the engine bay is pretty shit um, this would all have to be taken out and, and had a look at it it's, it's all very rusty and grimy and full of shit so I'm not sure if it's even running there's another photo of the car inside I think the guy was busy taking stuff out doing a whole bunch of stuff to it you can see all the bodywork is really bad yeah yeah you can see it's 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 not not really good all right then we got to this Golf GTI this I think this is the car this is a Mach 4 Golf GTI this has a 1.8 liter four-cylinder turbo engine unique five valves per cylinder so it's a 20 valve motor um, that is a five-speed manual as well this one's done 270,000 kilometers so pretty high mileage but we're going to be changing a lot of the running gear anyway over time so I don't think that uh, that's particularly an issue as you can see it's a four-door GTI I don't think that New Zealand and Australia got the two-door variant um, however this this is what I'm heading towards and the reason I'm heading towards it is Golf 4 GTI just have that like need for speed vibe oh look at those Recaro seats there's no tears in the seats either so that that might be pretty cool so if you started gaming in the early 2000s you would have played need for speed underground one when it came out that game was the absolute amazing thing that ever came to PC platform back in the day then underground 2 came as well and that was also that was amazing now one of the cars that stuck out to me was the Golf 4. Who doesn't remember seeing the Golf 4 GTR like this in Need for Speed Underground 1? That amazing body kit, rims, the neon lighting, all this kind of crazy JDM stuff that sort of came to light through this game. So it hasn't been decided yet, however I'm definitely looking at the Golf 4. The reason being, I would love to build one of those need for speed underground style i think that would just be so sick to see on the road especially if it has the performance it's lowered it's got the rims the wide body kit everything just says need for speed underground and so this might turn into the need for speed underground golf 4 gti build just saying anyways let me know what you think in the comments and thank you so much for watching if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to. Um, love to see you back here again. Uh, my name is Cap Lawrence, and um, I'll see you in the next one.